boy, you're here! We're gonna have so much fun together! I'm ready to get up, but Pluto's still asleep. <laughs> it's still too early to wake him up. Do you ever get up in the morning before everybody else? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Sometimes when I wake up before everybody else, I like to read a morning story. <gasps> Would you like to read one together? All right! Hmm, what book should we read? <gasps> well, hot dog! This story is about my dog, Pluto. It's called Bounce Bounce Ball. Pluto was asleep when suddenly he woke up in such a fright. He knocked his precious ball clear out of sight. It bounced downstairs and out the door. It bounced up the treehouse and then bounced some more. Rolling to the edge, the ball took a ride. Round and round it went down the slippery slide. Where do you think the ball will bounce next? Oh, good guess. Let's keep reading. Pluto chased it into the park, reaching out with his paw. But he bumped his ball onto the seesaw. Pluto leapt to catch it. One eager pup and instead launched his ball up and up. The ball bounced in the air at such a great height as Pluto chased it home with all his might. He chased it up the slide and up the treehouse floor. He chased it up the stairs right through his bedroom door. The ball bounced into bed with one final stop as tired Pluto landed beside it with a plop. Pluto laid down, cuddling with his ball. With no more bouncing, he had the best sleep of all. Thanks for spending time with me. Till next time we can play, have a Mickey-rific day. Oh boy, you're here. Minnie's about to tell me a campfire story. Hi, friends. Want to join us? Camp-tastic. I love campfire stories. In fact, I brought some snacks to eat while we listen. Mmm. Gather round for a tale that's kind of cute, but do beware of the disappearing fruit. Huh? A shadowy creature hid in the night, looking for food to take a big bite. Ah, uh, my banana's gone. Oh, maybe you ate it all, or maybe dun dun dun! It was the creature. Ah. What was that? The creature's always hungry and never ever full, especially for a bite of a tasty apple. Ha! Ah, my apple! It's been eaten down to the core? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's more than a bite. Mm, did you see the creature? Over my shoulder? Where? There's nothing there. Behind me? Hmm. I don't see anything. Shh. Watch this. If you hear the creature let out a hoot, keep a close eye on your delicious fruit. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the creature was this cute owl all along. <laughs> it's Hooty the Owl. <laughs> Thank you for playing along, Hootie. And eating my snacks. I hope you're full. Thanks for spending time with me. Till next time we can play, have a Mickey... And Minnie-rific night! Oh boy, you're here! Minnie is on her way over, and she's bringing a star for my Christmas tree. <gasps> Say, want to hear the story of how she got it? Yay! It's called Minnie and the Christmas Starfish. One cold and cloudy night at sea, Captain Minnie decorated her Christmas tree. But something was oh so wrong. The Christmas tree star was gone, gone, gone. Oh no, what should Minnie do? Let's find out. She wished upon a star with all her might. And suddenly one appeared all puffy and white. She reached to the sky and hugged the star tight. But it was only a cloud and soon vanished from sight. <gasps> the star was a cloud. Do you think Minnie will find a new star? I hope so too. 
Suddenly, Minnie's boat was all aglow. Something had hurt her wish. She turned around, and there she found a glowing starfish. The starfish danced about, as happy as can be. And with a big smile, it said, count down from three, and then I'll be the star on your Christmas tree. Ready? Three, two, one. Hooray! Yay! That's her now. Knock, knock, Mickey. <laughs> the starfish is ready to light your tree. Here we go. Let's count down from three, and then the tree will light up. Ready? Three, three two, two, one. Wow. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. What a fun tree lighting. Thanks for listening to how Minnie got the Christmas tree star. Fish. <laughs> Till next time we can play. Have a christmas rific night! Oh boy, you're here! We're gonna have so much fun together! Every night before bed, I like to read a bedtime story. How about we read it together? Yay! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> the book is called Minnie and the Moonbow. Minnie sat up in her bed. She couldn't sleep. Not a peep! She thought, I'll say good night to the moon. That might help me sleep soon. But when Minnie opened her window to say good night, the moon was nowhere in sight. Minnie saw clouds shaped like stairs. Oh my, would you climb up cloud stairs? Oh, me too. Let's see what Minnie does. She climbed up the cloud stairs into the sky and saw the moon beaming from way up high. Minnie noticed the twinkling stars shining from up high. She beamed, hey, I can climb this star rope up to the sky. There was the big bright moon. It was headed her way. She would be there soon. Minnie made it to the surface, not a moment too soon. With a big smile, she said, good night to the moon. Hooray! Out of the corner of her eye, what did Minnie spy? But a moonbow, a nighttime rainbow. Good night, stars. Goodbye, moon, squeaked the happy mouse as she slid down the rainbow from the moon to her house. As the moon shined bright overhead, Minnie yawned and climbed right into bed. <sighs> Thanks for spending time with me. Until next time we can play, have a Mickey-rific day. Oh, <laughs> I mean night. Oh boy, you're here. We're going to have so much fun together. I'm ready to get up, but Pluto's still asleep. <laughs> it's still too early to wake him up.